With cut down day looming, the 49ers have to get their roster compliant by midweek this week. So as a result of that, they have started to release multiple players. We already heard news earlier of from today about Matt Breida and Jonte Kirkland. And there is additional moves that were just made. First, this video is brought to you by Autograph. Being a fan is a full-time job, so Autograph does the heavy lifting for you. From tickets for big matchups to breaking news, the Autograph app has curated content for fans of all things San Francisco 49ers. And the new replay feature lets you get the day's news without the noise for when you need to be up to speed prior to starting your day. All the podcast articles and game predictions you could ever want in one place. It's time to feed your fandom with the Autograph app. Use the code SF9ers to download the Autograph app today. Make sure you go and check out the Autograph app. Link in the description. Go sign up. Use code SF9ers. You won't regret it. But let's talk about the moves that were just made by the San Francisco 49ers. So we actually had a solid performer in the form of Presley Harvin, the punter. Obviously, with Mitch Wisnowski. He had been going through some injuries and some situations throughout the, the training camp. There was a stretch of training camp where I think it was probably five or six practices in a row where the 49ers were trying out a punter at the end of every practice. Well, they brought in Presley Harvin, and he actually played phenomenally well to even where some fans posed the question, should we – Cut Mitch and keep this guy. That's just how well he was kicking. Obviously, Mitch Wisnowski, um is well compensated. And on top of that, he is a locker room guy that everyone seems to enjoy and appreciate. So I didn't see that as being a possibility. However, uh, Presley is pretty solid. So hopefully the 49ers will have him on speed dial if anything happens because he has proven to be a pretty quality player. But as we continue to get through these moves, it wasn't just Presley who was let go. The 49ers also released Keyshawn Vaughn and they waived offensive lineman Lewis Kidd. So these three guys, they were all training camp ads. They were all added in the middle or late parts of training camp. Keyshawn Vaughn, he showed some like some some promise. Um at certain points, um, but he also showed uh, some some ability to, you know, kind of fumble and, and things like that. So it'll be interesting to see if any one of these guys comes back to the practice squad. Offensive line Lewis Kidd was also uh, a late add uh, in practice when the 49ers had a rash of injuries on the offensive line. Um, so no real surprise with any of these moves. I haven't seen anything yet that has been surprising so but as we know we're just on the beginning at the beginning stages of this we have five players who have been let go the 49ers had a 90-man roster they got a cut to 53 so there is still uh some time to be surprised so these are just again uh feels like these are the guys that you would expect to be let go and it'll be interesting to see who will be the biggest surprises from this roster cut down. Let me know who you guys think is going to be the biggest surprise in the comments below. And make sure you go into that description, download the Autograph app, use SF Niners, and enjoy getting rewarded for your fandom. And as always, make sure you turn post notifications on and make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.